Good evening. Who's out there? Let's see. Yes. I see some familiar faces. There's lots of people here tonight. We're all filled up on Mexican food and ready to hear some music to put us to sleep, you know? Hey, Yaz, what's going on? Yo. Oh, wow, wow, look at all these people. Oh, cool. Where's Rich Circle at? Where you at, dude? Rich? Where are you? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Now I know where you're at. I can always look over at you. Rich is a fellow New Jersey uh, resident. Isn't that right? I got it. Hey, Brian, is this thing on, man? This Calhoun or whatever it's called? Come home. Thank you. I got to have some glasses. You didn't know that about me, huh? know that we're a band that hides behind Mesa Boogie stacks and Marshall stacks and Ampeg stacks and 21 piece and 21 cymbal drum kits. <laughs> yeah. Tonight as a, as a special guest we have Robert over here on the Cajon. Uh, I, I don't know how we got him out of the bus. Somehow we, we, we said come and jam with us and he said all right. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You know I'm kidding around, Rob. <laughs> All right, are we gonna try this, Mikey? Yeah, we're gonna try uh, try some acoustic songs for you guys. Check. You guys ready? Yeah. See how this goes. All right, lead us off, buddy. We're kind of all over the map tonight with lots of different songs from you know lots of different eras and points in our life and. Going back, this is a song we actually re-recorded, but it's a really old song. So it goes back, believe it or not, to I think it was like 1978. 77 it might have been written, actually. And Oz informed me that it was the first song that I taught him tonight. So it's really old. Older than we are. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. It's called My Love Will Always Show. One, two, three, four.
Problem seeing the dots. I can't see the dots. <laughs> I told you that, man, earlier. We need some more light in the back, man. You guys got any more light, like white? A little bit of white in the back. Maybe? So. Dude, just put some fingernail polish on that. Yeah, really. Can't see anything. All right. Ah, uh, you know, I'll have to turn this way. <laughs> Now, everybody here hopefully has seen us live, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who saw us just recently? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody seen us in the past 10 years here? 20 years? 30 years? Wow. You? 30 years? Really? That's crazy. Wow. You guys age pretty well too, man. Not bad. <laughs> well, this is this is an old one off of the record, The Yellow and Black Attack, and it's called. Dude, can you not see really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard. You to can't see, see your neck. Oh, this is good. Yeah, whatever you just did works great. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's give this a shot. This one's called. <laughs> you can hear it, man. I'm like going. Oh, well. Okay, go ahead. This is called You Know What to Do. One, two, three.
I stretched it a little bit. <laughs> All right. So this song, this is one that we recorded way, 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 way further in time. This is Ian. This is Ian. Just so you know, he's our tour manager. He's just about everything. See, why don't you just get a stool, dude, and I'll put it on top of the stool. I hope that's not a rental. That might not be a good thing. Sorry, dude. All right. So this is a song we recorded somewhat recently, not too, too long ago. It was on a record called Reborn. We released it in 05. It's a little different, a little different for us. It's called Make You Mine. Oh, is that what we're doing now? Maybe we're not. Maybe I'm not following this. No, you know what? That's wrong. We're doing Lady, aren't we? I think Lady's the next one. <laughs> See, I don't have a set list. I'm going off of memory. So I can't do that. I got one right there, but I can't see it. He can't see it. He says he can't see them. Aren't we hopeless? What's that, brother? I'll just keep unfollowing the set list all night. Okay, so you want to try? Uh, so we're gonna try "Lady" from Against what, the Law. Well, tell a little bit about that song, dude. What is that? Oh gosh, I remember with that song we were compiling the record uh, as far as the songs go, and we didn't really have a ballad. We wanted a ballad because Strapers pretty much, for the most part, always released a ballad on, on our records. There's always been some sort of ballad, whether it's piano or guitar oriented or whatever. And uh, we just didn't have one. So I thank the Lord above one night, uh, sat down and, and wrote that tune at night and it came to me and we played it for everybody and everyone really seemed to like the song. And Tom, the producer, Tom Warman, he was like, yeah, that's perfect. And we recorded it and made a video for it actually. And it was, uh, you know, a song that really didn't get a lot of recognition because the album at the time, unfortunately, was on a label that was closing its doors and all that sad stuff you hear about in rock and roll. Uh, but it should have. It was, a, it was a really cool record and, you know, we were, we were excited about making it and excited about releasing it. But there you go. So this is a song from that album. It's called Lady. You guys hot in here at all? No? Mm -hmm. You're as, are you as hot as we are? We're like boiling up here, man. Turn that AC up. Where's the AC? Okay, it's called Lady. One, two, three, four.
drum solo. What's it called again? A cow cowboy. Alright, so we're gonna try this one. We do this one every night when we perform. We've been doing it since the very beginning, since it was actually first recorded, so I don't think we've stopped doing this song in the set. Is that right? No, we've been doing it since day one. Have we? We yes. haven't stopped? Okay, alright. Well, at least since uh, Tell the Devil Without. <laughs> I think so. 86. Every so show. if you guys know what, make a little noise. It goes like this one, two, three, four. <laughs> You guys know this one? Yes? table over there we're trying to get rid of all that stuff so you know if you haven't got something please go step over there 
<laughs> grab something before we uh, have to take it all home with us, you know? And you guys, uh, a few things. We just recently released a record, March 25th, I think it was, called Second Coming. And we originally set out to make that record uh, just to cut out the middleman and, you know, have a little easier go at uh, film and TV as far as placement for songs and whatnot. And hopefully you'll be hearing more Striper songs in some films and television shows. That would be kind of cool. What's that movie that we're in that they... Pain, pain and Gain, you're talking and, about, right? Well, Whippet's one of them also. Whippet's another. But Pain and Gain, I think they did a little funny thing about us and then guy had a striper sticker on his cash register. We're also in, there's a song in Django, Django as well. Django? Which one? Shining Star? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, and we made that record for that purpose pretty much, and then we decided as we were going along that it would be cool and interesting and fun to release it to, to our friends and our fans, so that's what we did. We hope you guys like it. We've got a lot of positive reviews about the record, and we tried to stay true to the originals and not venture too far, but yet at the same time breathe some life into them. So hopefully we accomplish that. And then we also have a brand new record coming out November 1st. Yeah, we're really excited about that. That's, that's going to be awesome. And, um, man, we're just we're really pumped about it because it's, it's an all-new, all-original record. Uh, 12 songs. There's one cover on it, actually, but there's 11 brand new songs. And it's coming out on Frontiers November 1st, and we're going to tour heavily for that record. And, and really, we're doing two videos for it, which is, we haven't made a video. I, I, I think I tweeted or Facebooked this recently. We haven't made a video since, I think it was 91. So it's crazy, you know? So we're doing two new videos, and we're really excited. The label's excited, and we'll see what happens with it. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll be, uh, you know, opening for Kiss. In the next few months or so. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's try this one. Um, this, yeah. is, this is off of Against the Law as well. Yeah, another Against the Law song. Wow, two and a half. One night.
I'm getting the feeling that Oz wants to learn these songs. And, and I don't know. Hey, I want to thank you guys for everything. You know, bringing us here. And you guys have been awesome, man. Amazing. That's nice. You put the flashlight down. Good nice, Ian. So, you guys know, everybody knows here that, you know, Striper's been a band that's gone against the grain for our entire history, careers. And, you know, we set up, we, we did the whole sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing for years prior to that, before we became Striper in 1983, officially released our first record in 84. But, but before that, we were doing all the same things that, you know, Motley Crue and, what's that? Exactly. Hollywood, we grew up on the streets of Hollywood performing at Kazari's, Troubadour, Whiskey, all these clubs. And we just decided, you know, one day after speaking to some friends that had, you know, committed their lives to God and we saw such a change in them, we decided that we wanted to take a different path and change our lives too. So, you know, a lot of people say it doesn't mix, you know, you can't mix religion, you can't mix God or Christ with music or rock and roll and, you know, Who's, who believes that crap, you know? Come on. I, I say that you absolutely can, and, and you should. And, uh, and that's something that we've, we've done, you know, our entire lives, and, and we won't stop doing it. And, you know, we're not here to preach or beat you over the head with what we believe. We're just here to, to make music and, and a melody and, and sing a joyful song, and that's it, man. And it encourage you along the way. That's really why we're here. You know, it shines some light. I always say to shine some light in the dark world. And it's, it's a pretty dark world out there, but there's a lot of light as well. So we're here to shine just a little light. Yes? But, but my point that I'm getting to, what's that? Striper Bibles. We don't have Bibles tonight, man. But you know what? I, I got to say, I'm the guy that said we should throw out Bibles tonight. And these, this guy and this guy both said, uh, I don't know that we should. <laughs> We didn't say that? All right. I'm throwing them under the bus, huh? I'm sorry. The tour bus. Well, anyway, we, um, we hope that somehow, some way, you know, we've encouraged you or inspired you in some, some way along, you know, the past 30 years. And if, if that's happened, we've done our job and we're very blessed. And we're very pleased and we're very happy, and that's just incredible. And that's why we're here. So God bless you guys, man. We love you very much. Very much. So we're going to try this one. Ready? One, two, three, four.
That's right. Come on, Michael, lay one on there. More of a Spanish jazz version, right? We've never recorded that. We should probably never recorded that version of it. No. It's kind of fun to do. Get some, uh, you know, maracas going. Looking to see everybody back there. We were thinking about doing that one, but uh, you know, it's a little rough on the throat. <laughs> We're not, we're not 20 years old anymore. <laughs> this is a song that uh, we recorded on In God We Trust. We rarely do these songs live, so I guess this is kind of special because we, yes sir. Oh, am I getting off the list again? <laughs> That's what I get for not having a list up here. It's all right. Say what, brother? Pay attention. Pay attention. Well, dude, I don't have a list. How can I pay attention to no list? Yeah, but I can't read it. Too far away. Yeah. Yeah. We have different prescriptions. Yeah, yeah. He's got a different strength than I do. Mine will kill him. They're so strong. So I'm, my eyes are so bad. So this is from Reborn. I think I said this earlier, right? I have to say, now if you haven't heard Reborn, you gotta hear that album. That album was a masterpiece, I think. Obviously, obviously a, a different take on, you know, I mean, it wasn't quite, it was a departure from the Striper sound, but it was a beautiful album. I mean, my gosh, songs were amazing. And the production was great. So I wanna really make this one sound good, dude. Let's make it sound good. It's called Make You Mine. Two,
This one to try. I think I introduced it earlier. <laughs> it goes something like this. You can put your hands together if you want. Come on, guys, everybody.
Scotty, Scotty, where are you, man? Are you here? Where are you, dude? Scotty Dunbar, where's Scotty Dunbar? There he is. Consider it done. <laughs> All right, Scotty always requests that song. We finally played it for you, man. Dude, if I had more than two hours of sleep, I would be singing more than a few. Well, we got we got another cool cool cover on our list here, and um, you know, uh, I think I think you know, growing up and all that stuff back, we let I me mean, we all kind of grew up in the '60s and '70s, and one of my favorite groups, and all of us, we love listening to them and playing them and everything, was Bad Company. Paul Rogers, a big influence on all of us, really. And, Absolutely. You know, very, very cool, cool band. And uh, so, let's try it. This one's called Ready for Love. One, two, three, four. It reminds me of Vandenberg right here.
Some takes going on. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> One more, yes. <laughs> I got two more. I need. You got it. I'll throw them out later. All right. This one we don't Loud and clear.
through that, but... Robert Sweet back there on the cajon, give him a hand. Yeah. Our little blue-eyed freak back there. All right, so in the same fashion, same fashion, right? Same fashion. All right, let's try this one. We got one more song for you guys, okay? Let's try this one. One, two, three, four.
guys. Um, you guys want to just talk for a little while? Hang on. Well, we're going to come out, actually, and hang out, I think, back there somewhere, up there. Okay, so we'll be right back. You guys hang out, chill. Thank you for coming. God bless you. We love you guys. Thanks.